Hey guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and we've got another spicy deck for you. It's going to be Hunter this time, Miracle Hunter. It was a deck recommendation by one of our viewers, Blastoise. Um, so let's get into it. For those of you unfamiliar with how we do these, I'm going to talk about the deck, go over every card in the deck, why we have what we have in there. From there, we're going to go into some games. We're going to play with the deck. I'm going to explain why I do what I do, and uh, you guys are going to get to see the deck in action. So at first look, this is a very funky sort of Hunter deck, um, hence the Miracle Hunter. I mean, we've got cards like Starving Buzzard in here this guy hasn't seen play since 2012 let me tell you about it so um like i said let's cover the deck and let's get into it so shimmer fly two of these bad boys one mana one one beast death rattle add a random hunter spell to your hand just a really solid card again having a lot of one mana beasts uh allows you to use your starving buzzard in the late stages of the game so you play starving buzzard you have eight mana you play three one drops you draw three cards it's really 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 good um and, and to on top of that shimmer fly is just a really solid card spring paw of course two of these this is like the bread and butter of almost every hunter deck right now a one mana one one with rush and it summons an extra one one hence a lot of one ones are good timberwolf um it's a one mana one one your other beasts have plus one attack so you have timberwolf out there you can unleash the hounds you can play spring paw um, there's a lot of combinations with Timberwolf to be able to do a lot more damage than you normally could. Uh, and again, he's a one drop. Uh headhunter's hatchet so there's only one of these in the deck and it seems to work out a lot because when you draw it you always need it but two of them may in fact be too much but you could if you don't like wing blast or whatnot you could probably take out a wing blast or one unleash the beast for another uh, headhunter's hatchet if you feel the need to do that uh, but so far one one hatchet has felt really really nice um hyena so this is a really good card in combination with a bunch of very low cost beasts because as we all know turn five you know unleash the hound scavenging hyena Hyena is a popular combo or you know turn six timber wolf scavenging hyena unleash the hounds uh, is just really good that uh, i i've so many games were either won and or lost um due to this card because you're able to just get them so high in the stats because the plus two plus one every time a beast dies is just really good plus you can even play them on turn three if you want or turn four you go like scavenging a hyena spring paw spring paw so that's good as well so just really solid beast uh vicious scale hide so this card in combination with dire frenzy which we'll see when we get into the games uh a two mana four six with rush and lifesteal is insane especially if you're playing against another like aggressive style or mid-range deck it's even really good playing against control decks um so it's just vicious scale hide by itself not the most powerful card in the deck but in combination with the dire frenzy makes this card like super super good animal companion this card's been around forever it's just good you know three mana summon amisha huffer or leok is just solid augmented alec there's two of these all right so it seems a little greedy that you'd play like two augmented alecs so you'd play two dire frenzies but the key is there's a lot of decks out there like warrior for example um that go into late game very easily so in this particular deck you have the ability to beat control warriors most of the time if you save your augmented elix your masters or your augmented elix your dire frenzies and you throw them on vicious scale hides and um, you basically shuffle six of these into your deck you do that twice so you shuffle 12 then we play zul jin zul jin recast dire frenzy two more times which is three each so now you've added 20 cards um no 18 cards uh into your deck and that is way more than the warrior can do even if you draw a ton of cards with starving buzzer so there's just like so many Many cool combos with this deck and um it also gives you the ability to be controlled decks that two deadly shots it's just a three mana basically kill a random enemy minion if they only have one you get to kill whatever you want and um there's a lot of mages out there a lot of mages play giant on turn you know anywhere between three to five so being able to kill the giants or any taunt minion in your way is really good plus again with zul Jin, he's going to recast all your spells recasting stuff like unleash the beast deadly shots master's call dire frenzy super 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 good uh master's call every minion in the deck is a beast if you put any other minion in the deck you have a chance not to draw three cards with master's call and every time we want to play this we want to draw three beasts guaranteed so um definitely one of the best cards in the deck unleash the hounds um really really solid good against eh, good against most aggro slash mid slash mid-range decks granted against control you know control players don't really play more than maybe like two or three minions at a time so unleash the hounds isn't really that good but if you're playing against any normal deck that plays you know upwards of four to five minions on the board um it's just super good plus in combination with like we mentioned the scavenging hyena or timberwolf makes them have two attack or buffs another minion super solid 
Dire Frenzy, we went over this. Probably, again, one of the best cards in the deck. Dire Frenzy is insane. And this card's crazy. Uh, Wing Blast, it says deal uh, four damage to a minion if a minion has died this turn. And then it, if it costs one. So you basically kill off a 1-1 one, one, and then you're able to play a deal four damage for one mana, which is insane. So Wing Blast, super good removal. Uh, if you don't like Wing Blast, you can put in Mark Shot if you really want to. But Wing Blast seems to be doing a fantastic job. Hazeel interesting card haven't really seen this uh card played a lot recently and uh just super solid fill your hand with one one lynxes again um the one one's very very good timberwolf scavenging hyena uh starving buzzard i mean you just it, it's just so much versatility there's so there's so many things you can do and so many beasts you can create it's always i mean it's just a lot of it's a lot of cats starving buzzard we went over this card really really good draw granted i wish this guy cost four mana to be honest five mana, like five mana three two beasts that's a heavy it's a heavy price to pay but he's a he's a good card he's a fun card uh unleash the beast two of these you know a six mana twin spell summon a five five wyvern with rust just a solid card but i think what makes this card even better is the fact that first you can cast it twice because of twin spell but also zul Jin is going to recast all your unleash the beast and you're actually going to get them back to your hand um so you're going you're to be able to cast them again which gives you like insane value so with that, we've covered the deck. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If the deck does get you a lot of wins and you like what you see, you'll throw an upvote or, or a Keck XD in the comment section below. It's good enough for me. It shows me you like the video, you like what you see, and you definitely want to see more of it. So with that, let's head into the games and enjoy, guys. I think I always keep Master's Call right. Not my deck. It's Blastoise's deck. Definitely not my deck. I suck with Hunter. Do 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 do. How would I rate it? It's really fun. Pretty complicated. Eh, maybe not too complicated, but I gotta get used to it. It's gonna take a lot more than three games to understand the flow. So like for me, I would probably coin 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 master's call, but that's me. <sighs> so I can either smash hero power or coin master's call. I coin master's call. A mistake. Druid is your favorite class? Druid's fun too. I think Malagos Druid was one of the most fun decks to play. I really like Malagos Druid. Tog Druid was really fun. Yeah, Tog and Malagos Druid were probably like... There, there, there was nothing random in the deck. Like, it just did what it was supposed to do. And you had like a lot of options every turn. Yeah, we're actually one legend point off of each other. How often does that happen? Like, he's at 2,502 and I'm 2,501. <laughs> That's funny. Well, that's crazy, dude. J Druid. Yeah, I wasn't... Like, J Druid was kind of fun, but it was a little ridiculous. I think it, without Jade Idol, everything would have been fine. But Jade Idol was just oof. Oh, 
Like right now, if it was me, I would just probably play out the Alec. Probably wrong though. I don't know. You have me nervous, Blastoise. I feel like I'm not living up to the deck's full potential. <laughs> You got me new boot goofing, dude. I like the bully aspect of the deck. Oh, you don't kill me. Oh, here's a 7-7, seven, seven, an 8-8, eight, eight, and a 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, by the way, let me ramp while I'm ramping. I get to summon guys, too. Oh, here's Aya. Death Rattle, summon another Jade. Fucking Keck XD. Deal with it. Get wrecked. <laughs> No boot goofing. I kind of wanted to play. I probably should have played the Lynx. I gotta head out for a bit. Good luck, dude. Thanks, Blastoise. Have a good one, bud. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sharing the deck. I'll probably play it a little bit. I feel like there's a lot of good potential with it. You said you had a lot of success, so we'll see if we can replicate that. Mm-hmm. I need to make room in my hand. So what I'm setting up for is to go Vicious Scale Hide, uh, Augmented, Dire Frenzy on that, and then from there I can play the Lynx. I've dumped most of the other cards out, and then I'll bump up a huge Scavenging Hyena. But look, these Timberwolves are good, but they don't like... They're not in our main game plan of basically making giant hyenas, and it also doesn't help us uh, making room for links. So, <clears throat> this is a five. That's a nine mana combo. So I can do that in two turns. No boot goofing. Mm -hmm. Our best draw is probably on um, probably Animal Companion. Just play something. Cool. Huffer. Misha. That's fine. That's fine. Should I die your friends in Misha? Mm, probably not. Mark shot. So our next loss, we'll try to queue up for TFT, and if we get into a match, we'll switch to that. It's fun, Hyper. It's a good time. All right, so like I said, next turn is Elec, Scale Hide, Dire Frenzy, then Lynx, a Hyena. That's what we've been setting up for the whole game. Man, Magic's really giving away a lot of uh, 
Planeswalker overlays. I've gotten like three of them. I need to log on and activate them, Deku. I get like one one email a week for like a free magic hard sleeve thing. What are they called here? Let me make sure I get the wording right so I don't look retarded. Oh, card art style. Man, this guy is like doing nothing. They give those away? I mean, I'm getting emails for them. I'm probably, you could probably type in on Google, uh, magic card art style codes, and then it'll show you all the codes that they've released, and you just redeem them. Yeah, they've given away so much stuff. They've given away each expansion, they give away three packs, there's a code for that, and then there's a code for like five to ten cards that are played pretty often, and then there's a code for like five art styles. And then there's a code for like Three art styles of like counter spells. I looked up all the codes. Well, are you aren't you excited now? <laughs> I take everything I can. I've got some Jew in me too, if you know what I'm saying. A little mile. I'm so hoping he plays a minion and one of these guys lives. I really want one of these hyenas to live. It'll be so awesome. We're about to pop off. About to shift. He's gonna feel the wrath of the miracle hunter. This guy has taken almost 10 minutes. I've taken I've taken less than four minutes. This guy's heading on ten minutes, and he's gonna lose. Like, come on, man! What are you doing? Like you ran out of time. Like, what the fuck? Like the guy took so long, he couldn't even finish his turn. I think I played this guy earlier. He's running the um the aggro the aggro shaman. Yo, first time actually getting to watch you on stream, been checking you on YouTube for three yearish. Uh helped me hit legend for the first time like a year ago. That's sick, dude. Nice. Um oh, and you're a funny dude, buy you a beer. Well, I appreciate it, the Bob. Thanks for uh checking out the stream, man. Glad you've been enjoying the content, buddy. Glad to have you. Glad to have you in El Streamo. So what I want to do is send this into there and then play Vicious Scale Hide. Because then I can play Lynx and Weave in Hero Power. 
You were expecting a three dollar donation for that beer offer. <laughs> nah. Ooh, Huffer. Pogs. Huffer's actually weak to zap, so maybe not Pogs. We'll see how it works out. Then the question is, do we Dire Frenzy the Huffer, or do we Dire Frenzy the Vicious Scale Hide? I don't know, man. A three mana seven four with charge is looking pretty juicy. All right, never mind. <laughs> no beer is worth its barley is $3. <laughs> I don't know, maybe happy hour. I, I've bought a Yingling for $3 before. It might have not been Yingling though. Might have been some random shit. We're gonna get lots of little linksies. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna overdraw, but hopefully we don't overdraw Garbo. Or overdraw good shit. Look at all our cats. I'm a master at the cat. <laughs> Dink. 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 It is me, the Lynx. This guy looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. He's got like green eyes and shit. Pretty pogs. Walk away from me, can't deny that's free. Hitching with your baby name. What deck did you climb with primarily this season? Um, Control Shaman and Big Shaman. I went from rank 5 to rank 2 with Big Shaman. And then from rank 2 to Legend, we played a mixture of Control Shaman, Big Shaman, and... Uh, Bomb Warrior. Bomb Warrior, I know, not the most exciting, but it is what it is. Yeah, you can't do any more warrior? Yeah. You could try Zoo. Zoo's pretty fun and pretty fast. You could play this Miracle Hunter I'm playing right now. Miracle. Oh, what the hell? Why is he playing Walking Fountain? Alright, I didn't play... Alright, I didn't expect Walking Fountain. I definitely did not expect Walking Fountain. Hell yeah, brother. Starving Buzzard OP! It allows me to draw four additional cards from my deck. Heavy nay nay, then watch your back. Going to pay day and never look back. One, two, and a three, and a four. How much can this guy... Many vicious scale hides were made in the creation of this video. 
Our deck will be filled with two mana four six life steal rush minions. Perplexing. I have the power. Uh, what packs do you recommend buying right now? Uh, it depends how your collection looks. Oh my gosh, you can play Hex and it'll Hex all three of my minions. Don't do this to me. Don't do this. No! Okay, I can handle a Lightning Bolt. I don't mind dumping my hand because I'm going to play this guy. <sighs> I almost have a full set. Need some epics scattered through the hearth. Yeah. I, I, we, I mean, we have all the important stuff, I believe. I don't think there's anything we're really missing. He's going to earth zap. All right. He's drawing so many cards with this frog. The good thing is he could deck out. Like, he's using a lot of resources to kill my stuff. And it seems I'm waiting a long time to play the Zul'jin, but my hand, it's going to like cast Master's Call. It's going to do all kinds of crazy shenanigans, so I want to hold back. I don't want to go too deep. We already have the sauce. We don't go too deep with the sauce, but we just smother it enough so the sauce covers the surface. And then when we take a bite, there's a good amount of sauce on each thing. We have to multi-layer it, like nachos. Can you believe there's people out there that make nachos and they don't layer their fucking nachos? So when they eat the nachos, the top layer is all cheese and they make it to the bottom and it's all just chips and there's nothing going on. Like, how do you do that to yourselves? You got to do layer one of nachos and you put cheese and then you put another layer of nachos and you put another layer of cheese. And that's that's how you have a ha that's how you have a healthy life. You, you can't live life really any other way. You must be using mutate probably it's all about your cheese management too much or too little and you're ruined 
There's a, there's there's a There's really it's hard to use too much cheese. I feel like a lot of things are going to happen right here. Hopefully it uses Dire Frenzy on one of my minions. Alright, come on game. It needs to- I need to play some minions. No, it Dire Frenzy on nothing. There you go. It's going to Dire Frenzy again. Cool. Alright, cool. At least we got a couple good, like... It hitting once is fine. Okay. It's kind of hard to lose from this position. This is what we got going on. Hunter to the face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh shit, son. What's gonna happen here? Okay. 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 That's it. Alright. That's all you got. <sighs> Doggo. Doggo. I'm going out of my mind. I don't want to be alive. Mm -hmm. Too much cheese? No, no, no. There's not enough cheese. You, you know. Oh my God, he has another one. How does he have two? I'm confused. <laughs> How did he get two shutters? I'm really confused. No, yeah, seriously, I, I don't remember how he got two shutters. That seems a little insane, right? Like, how, how did he get two of them? Like, seriously. He didn't randomly generate, like, he didn't play a blazing whatever it was called. It didn't say this was created by anything. But how did he get this? I don't know, man. Shit's crazy. It'd be like that sometimes, though. I think I'm gonna whisper him after this game. <laughs> be like, yo, by the way, um, what the fuck, mate? <laughs> Consamida. Hunter coming through, baby. Alright, we need to add that guy. Excuse me, sir. I would like one of your finest hacks, please. UP is down for maintenance. Failed to reconnect. Uh-oh. Ripping the Banjo-Kazooie, dude. Dude, ripping the banjo kazooie. Kapooey! Throwing out of my mind. Nice. 
Banjo, Kazooie, what you doie, everybody knew you. <clears throat> League of Legends, load up, you fool. Oh. Probably because, uh, there it goes. Alright, I was about to, I was about to go into the mainframe, boys. You are gonna see me heading to the mainframe. And I wasn't scared about it, I'll go to the mainframe, you can't stop me. Updating. All right, you update. You do you, boo-boo. You do you, boo-boo. Because -boo, everybody gonna go. So you know. Can't stop the coastal flow. All right, what does it say? Maintenance. They'll be performing maintenance for two hours. Login issues. <laughs> There's just like a bunch of fucking shit. Basically just says the game is dead. Yeah, seven minutes ago, two hours, two hours from let's say six, so it's gonna be back on around eight. Do I just dire frenzy this? Eh. This is you see. This looks good. I'm gonna dire frenzy the shit out of this scavenging hyena next turn. It's gonna be big. Weird hat. Don't make fun of my hat. Your beard's weird. Oh no, we just lost four subs. Feels bad. My content's just going down. We're losing all the subs. Just kidding. YouTube's been doing great. I'm very proud of our YouTube. I'm a proud papa. I probably do need to end the stream. Probably, I don't know. Maybe like an hour earlier. Because I need to edit videos. I haven't, I, I don't have anything lined up for today. I need to give you guys content. You guys need content. Cool to see you live for once. I'm off for margaritas. I'll try to throw you a donation someday. You have seriously earned it from from me. So many hours of entertainment. Ah, it's all good, man. Subs are donos and subs aren't mandatory or even expected. That's just extra. Kind of like, ah, oh, if you watch me like you watch Netflix and you want to drop a sub, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. Just glad having you here, man. Margaritas, though. Yo, you have a good Friday, bud. Sounds like a good time. Maybe one day we'll get some margaritas, dude. We'll have a good time. Margaritas with Rob and Bob. The super hot fire combo.
<laughs> Margaritas with Robin. <laughs> uh, snap freeze? Yeah, that's not cool, dude. And he has two Ray of Frost. That is... Oh, he, did, he, he opted not to use it. All right, cool. You're out of spooge now, mage. You got no spooge left. Man, I was really hoping we'd get Huffer or Leoc. That's a problem. Sight. 